guys, we are on the 8th tutorial, sorry for the little delay but the last time I recorded the video and uh, I don't know why the audio was completely distorted so today I'm trying to record it again and uh, hoping everything will be alright. So today I promised you that uh, we will start creating the remote desktop, uh, the remote desktop function so we can start really fast because we are going to create the GUI for first then the client uh, iteration and then again uh, all the GUI parsing function of the packets with the images inside and you will see everything later so um, this is with just the first part so we are just creating the GUI for today so I created a new folder on the project solution called forms this is just to organize everything. You can move your form inside this folder, just right click, copy and paste, or actually um, cut and then paste inside the folder, drag and drop, uh, you know how it works. So now we are just creating a new form. So add new Windows form, and we are going to call it cap. So for first, uh, we're going to set the size of the form, so I'm going to set 440 for um, the width and uh, for 8, uh, 294. So I'm going to use uh, a, a, little, a little size form because uh, if I want to see 5, 6, 7 uh, remote desktop at the same time, I can I can because I'm using this small form and I can move them all around my window but uh, this is all up to you, you can choose to um, enlarge the size so let's, let's just modify some little functions so start position in center screen and I think this is most everything I'm not going to modify the, um, the icon, this is uh, all uh, this is up to you, you can modify as you want and the text will be just a remote desktop for good looking sake ok that's good, now from the instruments from the um, yes the instrument tab you can drag and drop uh, two panels so the first will be docket on the top of our form Oh, that's good, maybe the sides uh, yeah the sides good maybe just the 8 would be 35 alright mm, I'm going to add another panel and this will be docked at the bottom alright the sides I think uh, it could be more or less the same so 33 up to the 5 ok that's good so now we need to add a picture box because we will use this picture box to display the current frames captured frames so here we can say anchor and be sure that the picture box is on the first level on the first layer of our form be sure that the picture box is not like this so you say it's be behind the, the panels and uh, by doing this you will lose uh, some pieces of the, the image so be sure that the picture box is on the first layer bring it to the front and set the back color to black just we can see everything better All right. Now we can add some basic settings, so just add a new label, right, and set the control text to, to yeah, grey, the text will be image size, actually it's too, too clear. 
So the first will be image size and uh, we are going to hide the combo box. And we will use this combo box uh, to display the, all the image size available. This is going to send these uh, values will be sent by the client, uh, so we will leave uh, the um, elements list empty for now. And I'm just copying past the label, and this uh, will be split. Just copy and paste again the, the combo box. Uh, split means um, because when we capture the frame of from the remote desktop of the victim, uh, we are going to capture just uh, the piece of the screen <coughs> where the, um, the target pointer will be. So if uh, my pointer is on the top right corner, we are going to capture just this portion of the screen uh, without the rest. Uh, so we are going to opti optimize the, um, you know, the data stream sent. Uh, and this is my opinion, is uh, the, best, uh, the best thing to do. So let's keep going. I'm going to duplicate again the label, and this is going to be called uh, quality. And uh, in the end, add a numeric cap down. So let's fit everything perfectly. And uh, minimum, I'm going to say one and for value I'm going to say 40 for now. All right, now we can add a checkbox down here. I remember that you can move the controls with your arrow keys. I'm just copying the color to to give so all the widget the same colors. And uh, this text is going to be mouse. So this means that when the checkbox is checked, we can control the mouse. Duplicate again this checkbox. And this is going to be called show lines. So we are back to the same uh, thing, uh, the same argument uh, of the quality, sorry, of the split. So we're going to see the lines where the cursor is, so we can see the, um, the window split, uh, so we can see all the pieces we are, um, we are sending. And now we can add the two buttons. Uh, first, we're going to call snap, so we can take a snap of the current picture, the current frame. And the last would be start. All right, so save everything. Okay, now the last thing, we are going to add uh, mm, a contest menu strip uh, to our main form. So mm, go to your instrument tab and select uh, context menu strip. You see context menu strip. Select now the list view of, uh, and uh, under context menu strip uh, property, we're going to select uh, the one context menu strip, the first one. So when we right click on this list view, we are going to see this, me this menu. And the first will be remote desktop. Of course, you can set an, an icon here. I Maybe I'm going to do this in the, the, the next tutorial or, or not, I'm, I don't care about the, you know, how this looks like. It is, the important is that everything works, everything works fine. So double click on the remote desktop uh, to strip menu item. It will generate uh, an automatic sub uh, and here, and here we can um, we can send uh, a command to our selected uh, client. So for each x as this view item. Oh, sorry. In l1 dot selected items. 
So we are basically looping inside of all our selected clients in our list view, and we are going to say s dot send x dot tooltip text comma, and we are going to send uh, the exclamation mark. So basically, we are just sending the string to the selected clients, uh, and uh, in the next tutorial, we are going to see how parse this command and we are going to create the class to handle the remote desktop by server side and client side. Maybe we will start uh, before from the client side. So we're going to take it really easy because this is a delicate uh, step. So guys, for this tutorial is everything. Thanks for, for watching and see you in the next tutorial.